how much weight will the Camco Easy Lift Recurve R3 weight distribution system actually distribute? And will it be more than the Anderson weight distribution system? We're finding out in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone. My name's Patrick and I am so glad you stopped by today. If you're like me, you love RVing, whether it's just to go away for the weekend or whether it's for the freedom and independence to hit the road and see the United States. RVing is so much fun, but let's face it, sometimes it can be downright frustrating. And that's why Patty and I started this channel five years ago, so that we could share our 17 years of experience with you to try to help you have a more enjoyable time. Now today, what we're going to do is we are going to talk about the Camco Easy Lift Recurve R3 weight distribution hitch. Now, that was the original hitch we purchased when we bought this Lance 1985. It's what our dealer recommended. We were running that up until about a year ago. We started running the Anderson, and you may have seen the recent video I put out on the Anderson where we did a test to see how much weight it distributed. Many of you asked me to put the old system back on and find out does it distribute more than the Anderson, and so that's what we're doing in this episode. Now, originally I had planned to open this video with me down by the hitch, talking about it, and then take you along to go over to the cat scales to weigh. We do three ways. We weigh just the truck, we weigh the truck and the trailer without weight distribution, and then the truck and the trailer with weight distribution. Now, I actually already did that, and I have video footage of it. Unfortunately, most of the audio... It just wasn't there. Every now and then we have technical difficulties and today was one of those days. Now, what I wanna do at this point is say that number one, if you try to compare the numbers or the weights from the last time I did this with the Anderson, they are gonna be slightly different because you know, every time you load up your RV and head out, things are gonna be a little different. And a good example is in this case, I had a full tank of fuel in the truck. The last time I did this with the Anderson, I had about a quarter of a tank of fuel. Also, we went out camping over the weekend. Therefore, there's some different items that were either put into the trailer or maybe taken out. And so the weights are gonna be a little bit different, but they're in the same vicinity. And quite honestly, it doesn't really matter. We're not looking at total weights as much as what percentage of weight is actually being distributed. So let's look at the weigh tickets first, and then we'll crunch the numbers. The first thing we want to look at is the weigh ticket from when I weighed just the truck. And in this case, the front axle came in at 4,080 pounds, the rear axle at 3,560 pounds, giving us a gross weight of 7,640 pounds. The second way we want to look at is the ticket for the truck and the trailer with no weight distribution. And in this one, we had a front axle of 3,760 pounds, a rear axle on the truck of 4,620 pounds, and then the trailer axle came in at 4,940 pounds for a total of 13,320 pounds. And then the final way that I did was the way where we had the truck and the trailer, but the weight distribution bars were in place. And on this way, we had 3,900 pounds on the front truck axle, 4,440 pounds on the rear axle of the truck, 5,000 pounds on the trailer axle, and that came in at 13,340 pounds. Now, if you're paying attention, I know somebody's gonna say, hey, wait a minute, there's a difference of 20 pounds between with weight distribution and without weight distributions. Now, you might assume that that 20 pounds is the bars, and that would be a good guess, except I put them into the bed of the truck. So why are we 20 pounds short in a matter of minutes? I did a little research, and the cat scales appear to be accurate within 20 pounds. So the only thing that I can figure out is from the time that I weighed with the bars, pulled around, backed in, took the time to take the bars off and then go back to the scale, we must have burned enough fuel that it dropped us just below the threshold that it rounded us down by 20 pounds. Now, I don't think that's a big deal for what we're doing. This isn't a scientific experiment. This is just me showing you the weights that I actually had so that you can better understand, like myself, what is actually going on with these weight distribution systems. If you're enjoying this video and appreciate the effort I'm putting into making it, boy, I'd sure appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up button and uh, leave me a comment down below on if you run weight distribution and what style you run. Now, let's go ahead and break the numbers down. And I've tried to make some graphics to make it easy for all of us to understand. So here is the graphic of the truck. 
You can see front axle 4,080, back axle 3,560, gross vehicle weight on our truck 7,640 pounds. When we went through and weighed without weight distribution, you can see that we added 1,060 pounds to the rear axle. Now that's not our tongue weight because if you look at that front axle, once we put the weight of the trailer onto the truck, it pulled some of that weight, in essence, it redistributed to the rear axle in the back. So if we take our gross vehicle weight of 8,380 and we compare that to our original gross vehicle, of 7640 means we had a tongue weight of approximately 740 pounds and again we see that our trailer axles were weighing in at 4940. Now when we look at this graphic with the weight distribution you can see we reduced the rear axle by 180 pounds. 140 of that went to the front axle of our truck which means it's helped to balance out the front and the rear and then 60 pounds of that went back to the trailer axles and that increased it to 5,000 pounds. Now, 140 to the front, 60 to the back is about 200 pounds of actual weight distribution. Now we can compare, we see on this graphic that our front axle with and without we were able to put weight back towards the front, we were able to reduce the weight on the rear axle, and we put a little bit of weight, not a lot, back to the trailer. And then finally, we know that the bars worked, but how well did they work and how did it compare to the Anderson? So here's a recap of our Anderson test run that we did. The front axle, we distributed 80 pounds to the front axle of the tow vehicle with the Anderson. 40 pounds went to the trailer, so a total of 120 pounds. And then I took that as a percentage of the tongue weight. Now, in that particular video, our tongue weight was 800 pounds, so that means it was approximately 15% that was actually being distributed. Now, this time with the Easy Lift, we had 140 pounds being distributed to the front of the uh, tow vehicle and 60 pounds back to the trailer. And so when we look at that in relationship to the tongue weight this time, um, I believe it was 740 pounds, it ended up being around 24%. So in the end, what did I learn? I don't think anyone at Anderson would argue with what this is saying because I've seen where Anderson will say that, hey, look, our weight distribution system does help distribute weight, but that's not its forte. Their real strength with the Anderson weight distribution system is their sway control. I personally would not use the Anderson weight distribution system on a trailer any larger than what we have. I think it works perfect for this size trailer, but I'm not sure if you go much bigger if it's gonna give you the weight distribution you need. But on a trailer this size and smaller, I love the Anderson. In fact, I'm gonna be taking off the bar system and going back to the Anderson. We've been running that for over a year now. It works perfect for us and we love it and I love the sway control on it. But if you're needing more weight distribution, then I think probably the bar system would be the way to go. Now, if you didn't get to see the test I ran with the Anderson, I'm gonna pop that right up here for you so you can check that video out next. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.